Hi, welcome to the first part of the course on boiler technology. I am Mr. SWCC, your trainer. I will help you understand the fundamentals of boiler technology. Boilers are used to heat water. Boilers are used to generate steam, which in turn is used for electricity generation and for desalinating seawater. In water tube boilers, water from a drum flows through the tubes and hot flue gases flow over them. Boilers are sources of steam and are often called steam generators. All the different types of boilers operate on the principles of heat exchange. In most boilers, water circulates from a drum at the boiler top, through pipes called downcomers, to the boiler bottom. Water again goes up through the water wall tubes to the drum. Natural, forced, and once through are the three types of water circulation through boilers. Circulation ratio is defined as the weight of water entering the downcomer divided by the weight of steam in the mixture leaving the furnace wall circuits. Heat transfer occurs in water wall tubes. It is complicated because it occurs when water phase changes to steam. The transformation occurs through nucleate boiling and film boiling. Here is a brief summary of what you just learned. Boilers are closed vessels in which water or other fluid is heated. It is a source of steam and is also called a steam generator. The two types of boilers are fire tube and water tube boilers. Once through boilers are also called supercritical boilers since the operating pressure in these boilers can be above the critical pressure of water. Transformation in boilers happens through nucleate boiling and film transformation. Now that you know about boiler basics, try answering this question to check your knowledge. Which two circuits are used in a boiler to generate and supply steam? Select the correct options and click Check Answer. You have two attempts to get this right. Now that you have come to the end of this module, here are the key learning points covered in the module. Boilers are closed vessels in which water or other fluid is heated. It is a source of steam and is also called a steam generator. Fire tube and water tube boilers are two most commonly used boilers at SWCC. In a fire tube boiler, the combustible gases flow inside the tube. And in a water tube boiler, water flows inside the tube. Circulation is defined as the flow of liquid and steam inside the boiler tube. The flow can be natural or forced. Once through boilers are also called supercritical boilers, since the operating pressure in these boilers can be above the critical pressure of water. Transformation in boilers is done in two ways, namely nucleate and film transformation. Nucleate boiling is desired since film boiling can lead to increase in temperature of tubes and may cause finally failure. In the next module, you will learn about boiler water-cooled furnace.